We're back with our Bright and Bold series tonight, highlighting change makers in our country during Black History Month. Black female head coaches are few and far between. And tonight, we're going to introduce you to a coach using her achievements as an assist to many others. Our Lord Magarino has her story. The best coaches know how to walk the talk. Head coach of Kentucky women's basketball, Kyra Elsey, not only finished her first year as a head coach in 2021, but finished with more wins than any other first year head coach in the country. In true leader fashion, she attributes her success to others. I've been in this business uh, for 21 years now and had had so many mentors and people help me along the way. And the sound of her success isn't just the swish of a net, but the shattering of a glass ceiling. There are a lot of women of color in women's basketball, but not as head coaches. Only 14% of head coaches in women's college basketball are black women, though 42% of the players are black women. According to the Institute for Diversity and Ethics in Sports 2020 Racial and Gender Report Card. But some conferences have worked to diversify head coaching hires, like the SEC. I really appreciate the opportunity uh, to be the new head coach at the University of Kentucky. You know, with this last wave of hires, you know, athletic directors have really um, taken chances on women of color. Um, and that's big for us. But it's a chance many coaches of color say they don't get as much time to achieve success compared to their white counterparts. We, we, we don't get these chances, man. And second chances are slim to none. Once I saw African-American coaches fired, I never saw them resurface. Mm -hmm. That was what I knew to be true. Even though most of these women have decades of experience as assistant coaches. Now that people are seeing, oh, women of color, they're doing big things. Well, we've always been doing big things. Now we're just having the opportunity to show. We've been behind the scenes doing it anyway. <laughs> So when one black woman wins, it's a win for the whole community. Former Purdue coach Carolyn Peck was the first black female head coach to win a national championship in 1999. She cut a piece of the game-winning net to hold on to. But in 2015, she lent the piece to South Carolina coach Don Staley for inspiration. Two years later, in 2017, Coach Staley led her team to a national championship, becoming the second black female head coach to win the title. She later returned the piece of net to Peck. From the big boss herself. And sent pieces of her own championship net. This is what I've been waiting for. Oh. To every Division I black female coach. This is so awesome. In a card sent with each piece, she wrote, I struggle to pick just one other coach to give mine to keep the tradition alive. I don't want to count black women as national championship coaches by one every few decades. I want us to do it so often we lose count. When I touched a piece of that net, um, you know, I had the honor of winning one as a player. Um, but as a coach, I still have it right behind me as a reminder um, every day. You know, representation matters. And I want all little girls of color to feel like if you dream big, um, if you put your mind to it, and if you can see other people doing it, that you actually aspire to do it. That's really important um, to me because... Um, there's no holding us back now. On and off the court. Laura Magarino, Newsy, Chicago.